how's everybody out there on YouTube? I am actually going to show you a higher powered simplex node. What you can use for a higher powered simplex node um, versus using handheld. So I did a brief description on the YouTube or on the Facebook channel quite some time back, probably a year or so ago back. And uh, I think it got kind of lost in the shuffle, so I p figured I'll put it on YouTube. So, must-haves. Must have a Raspberry Pi, two or above, 16 gig or above Class 10 SD card. That is a must-have must have some sort of a sound card this is a rim max track let's see if we could get it to zoom here from repeater builder might help if I turn the light off let's see if we, oh there it goes rim max track repeater builder 2016 so this actually will plug right into the back of a 16-pin radio. You have to be very careful on how you plug it into the back of these radios. This is a SM50 uh, 1225s are the same a couple of the other SMs uh, radiuses are the same. If they don't have a big heat sink back here, then you have to be careful on how you put this thing in. So, if you notice, there's no actual wrong way to put this in. Well, when you blow something, you're going to know it was the wrong way. So, pretty much the right way on this is completely upside down than the max track itself. You always want to have the little overhang towards your power outlet. Where on the max tracks, there's a big heat sink here, rides right next to it. So when they plug it in, it's actually pointing away from the radio. Well, this will blow this radio quicker than snot. It'll blow the internal fuse. Once you blow the internal fuse, if you plug it back in, you jump the internal fuse, you plug this back in the wrong way, now you're going to wind up with a nice divot in the heat shrink tubing, and I'm pretty sure something on this side pops and makes a big melt hole. So definitely want to make sure you plug this in the right way the first time. Like I say, it will let you plug it in either way. The right way is like that. The wrong way will go in just as simple and blow your radio. Wow, I think I even jumped it. <laughs> I'm way off. <laughs> Apparently, it will let you put it in. A little off too. <laughs> yeah, I didn't notice it could let you do that. But uh, make sure the rim max track is pointed up to be plugged into the SM line uh, series. Uh, this is also will work on the newer turbo radios or the ones with the 25 pin connector. If you look at the newer ones, they'll actually have a, a little notch that this will fit right into, uh, right in the middle of them. So that's the rim from the max rim max track from Repeater Builder. As you can see, it's not very big. They do make a repeater model, so if you want to use two Motorola 16 pins or 25 pins, it'll have a little pigtail coming off the back with two wires leading to a board just like this, but without all these little components on it, and it will plug into the other radio. Um, so that's, this is 
pretty much stuck with these kind of radios unless you really want to jank around with poking holes, you know, which I'm surprised I haven't done it yet. Uh, slide a little wires in there and, and make something else out of this, but no, I, I'm pretty sure I keep it at to what it is. This is our true and tried next best thing. Actually, this is the best thing, but this is also what you pay for. This is, I believe, now $85. This is pre-set to what's on the side of this thing. Pretty much all you need for the radios is 1, 8, 9, 19 or 20, and 21. And 20, no, sorry, 21 and 22. Not 9. 21. For some reason it uses AC. 21 and 22. Left out. So 1, 8, 20, 21, and 22. Your ground, push to talk, core, mic in, left out. To come out of here. I'm probably not going to be able to get it to zoom. It might not even have it. You can make your own cable up for these. If you know how to solder. Or you can get uh, twist ends. Which I'm seriously thinking about getting. Where you just put the wire in the hole. Twist it down. And it goes to the corresponding pin. Those are nice. This you can modify to work with this. Or two of these. To make it a repeater. Or you could modify it to work with this. This is my old workhorse. This is, you could tell where I had the cooling fan on it. Um, I haven't cleaned it out yet, but uh, I might put her back into service. But uh, I uh, was cheap about it and I literally just shoved them in the holes. I used nails and shoved them in the holes. Well, the thing was, the nails actually, I'm pretty sure spread it a little bit so now that I actually tried to use a DB25 connector it don't work so I have to use nails all the time there was another little accessory port back in here that I winded up getting because I didn't have the power cord for this so I winded up needing to get more cable out of it so I just kind of pulled it out but uh, same goes for this you can pull you could pull what you need out of this to go to to the sound card and then you could also do a repeater with a, a receive and a transmit um, that's why this is called the universal what is it? universal radio interface URI from DMK engineering all of this stuff besides for the radios are on the GMRS dot network website the gmrs dot network is the uri or the url for our network once again this is jason wqxn966 on behalf of the gmrs linked network thank you for watching it's kind of long hopefully i kept your entertainment